to my channel. Um, today I wanted to show you how to make my favourite oil-free hummus. It's super simple, very, very cheap, amazing for weight loss. So I hope you try it out. Let's get to it. <laughs> joined by Romy as well. So I've just um, cooked up some chickpeas in the Instant Pot. I'm gonna have some hummus later. And I've just drained them and I like to use the aquafaba from the chickpeas to make the hummus and it makes it super creamy and just amazing. So that's gonna be the liquid portion of what I'm using. So definitely keep the aquafaba whether you're using a tin or whether you're um, doing your own chickpeas, it really doesn't matter. Pop it in the food processor and let's show you. Trying to do everything one hand, it is so I've got our food processor right here. So I'm going to use four cups of chickpeas. And I'm going to go in with half a cup of aquafaba. Two tablespoons of lemon juice. Two tablespoons of tahini. There we go, that's about two tablespoons, I think. This. It is my favorite tahini. Oh, so smooth and creamy. Baba. Oh geez, are we still recording? So I'm just gonna leave the salt out at the moment because my little girl, Romy, is eight months old and she doesn't have any salt at the moment. So I'm just gonna take out a little portion of her, pop salt in afterwards. So it's great for the whole family. Fantastic, everyone in my house loves hummus. We eat so much of it. And we're gonna add half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And we're gonna blend that up. Obviously, you can have it as thick or as thin as you like. So you want, if you wanted, you could put a little bit more aquafaba in there and um, thin it out. It looks very tasty. Mm. Yummy. Dash more salt. And maybe a tiny bit more aquafaba. Let's blend. So now that I've made the hummus, I am gonna just plate up. I'm gonna have it with my breakfast. So I'll show you what I do with it. Cooking up some sweet potatoes. is going to be absolutely delicious. It's super thick and creamy and extremely delicious. Romy loves hers. <laughs> there we go. No oil at all. Absolutely delicious. Hello. Mm, definitely give it a try. And enjoy it with some lovely whole foods like this. If you try the recipe, please tag me on Broccoli Mum over on Instagram. I would love to see your creation. Is that nice, Thomas? Mm, yummy hummus. That's mine. And then Romy's having broccoli, sweet potato, and some yummy hummus. So I hope you give it a try and I hope you love it. Hummus does not have to be full of oil. And I hope you enjoy it. Anyway, have a lovely day and hope you enjoyed the video. Mm -hmm.